a hot day here. <laughs> yep. We are in summer. I know. Summer. Summer equinox. Yes, I was trying to remember. It's winter solstice, summer equinox. And that doesn't happen like June. 21st, 22nd, 23rd, something like that. I don't have that memorized. But it, in the south, summer comes early. Why? Because we don't really have winter. We have uh, an extended fall with winter tendencies. And then we have uh, pollen season. Some people call it spring, we call it pollen season. Because it just covers everything in yellow. <laughs> Luckily, that fades over. The cicadas are done here. I know everybody's getting them now, but the cicadas are done. I think it's too hot for cicadas here, so they moved on to the cooler areas. So, I mean, there's places in the country getting snow still. So it was crazy to me. Such a big country, so many different weather patterns. It's crazy. Our weather gets imported from Atlanta. So whatever happens in Atlanta, that's the weather we have here. Last night's show, man, I am, I loved last night's show, it was so much fun. I have decided to slice down last night's show and do like some segments to get really to the meat of what last night's show was about and then I will post them online. I don't have a lot of luck with shorts, mainly because I'm lazy. Uh, if I put the effort in, I can do a short that usually gets two or three hundred views, but you know, the only views, the only shorts that have ever gotten me any subscribers or when I tell a terrible dad joke. Those get me subscribers, but that's not what my channel's about. And so, to, to do a video that's not really what my channel's about doesn't make sense. That's crazy, right? Anyway, trying to figure out the gas price situation. One gas station has gas at two ninety eight, and the other one has it at two eight at three eighteen. So. You would think it would be competitive, but I guess not. So, I'm on the way to pick up my mom, take her to the towers. Yeah. My camera's just kind of... Hopefully you're not noticing that one. Anyway, so I just thought that would be a good use for last night's video. Just go through. And last night I did it in 4K. Uh, I am planning on doing like all my videos in 4K from here on out. Um, because the percentage of people watching on TV is not insignificant. We're talking between 16 and 20% on videos. I'm like, well, admittedly, I'm not any prettier in 4K than I am in 1080 or even 720 or 360. But uh, my content, hopefully you're seeing my content better. Um, so, hence I'm gonna try to do 4K from here now. The time was gonna eventually come that 4K was the way to go. But what I hate, it takes so long for the video to process. So, I have to wait until the video processes before I can do end screen and cards. I could do chapters, but I can't do end screens and cards until YouTube gets through processing my video. I'm like, what can I do to get my videos processed quicker on YouTube? I suppose if I had 10 million subscribers, my videos would probably process very quickly. There's some, probably some magic number if you're at that number, your video process is quick. But if you're way below that number, then it doesn't process quick. I had somebody ask me, Matt Haas asked me, um, he asked me about my information about naming your thumbnail, naming your video file, and the same thing as a title of your video. And uh, I got that from a couple of creators. One was Justin Brown from Primal Video. Um, 
I am trying to remember the other one. And this is all theoretical. They've been doing some testing with it. It's not proven yet, but there's some logic to that making sense. It makes sense to me that that could be a potential thing. That the video being named. I mean, think about it this way. When you upload the video and it's been named the same as what your title is going to be, it populates in the title field for you. It just assumes that's what you're going to name the video. So I think right there is one indication that YouTube might pay attention to that. The second is, um, does YouTube pay attention to the name of your thumbnail? I don't have any proof of that yet, but that is my theory, and I am going to test it and see. Um, it's right now, the evidence is circumstantial, but there's some logic in my head about that, knowing how much Google searches through everything. So the other part is to use the, uh, make sure your hook has the title of your video in it so that people, when they land on your video, like, this is exactly what he said the video was about. So no doubt in their minds. Um, and so these are things that I'm trying out. Um, yeah. Your mileage may vary. But I, I want to try these things. But the, the key thing is, like Adam was said last night on the show, is that you've got to make a great video. It doesn't matter how much search engine optimization you do, you've got to make a great video. So I consider naming the thumbnail, naming the video, doing a hook in the beginning of the video that has the title of the video, and making sure that the title shows up in the description and also in your um, tags. Are just good SEO just good search engine optimization and the search engine in this case is YouTube and if you watched my video last night <clears throat> the May 28th video then you will know keywords rock and it's quite amazing to see how many people are searching for different keywords and how just changing up the phrasing of long tail keywords that's basically multiple words that form a search term that makes a difference. You know, we were playing around last night, and if you put the word in one place, it had a higher search rate than if you put it in another place. And that's because you got to think like how people type and when they type in their search. And so, you know, what I would search for is different than what somebody else would search for. But then you got to figure out what does the majority of people search for. And so that's what that is about. And so, yep. Yeah. Anyway, um, thanks so much for watching this. I hope you have a wonderful, amazing day. Um, yeah, so, bye.